Breaking news this morning, a college bribery and cheating scandal is having a huge effect across the country. Wealthy parents, including two big-name actresses, allegedly went to extremes to get their children into schools like USC and UCLA, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. We have live team coverage on this stunning investigation, beginning with CBS 2's Jasmine Veal, who joins us in studio with details. Jasmine. Oh, man, the details of these indictments are jaw-dropping, to say the least. We're talking about bribery cheating, even faking athletic resumes. As many as 50 people are facing charges across the country, including coaches and parents, among them actresses Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman. Huffman was arrested this morning, but officials say Laughlin was not home when authorities went to her house. Her husband, famous fashion designer Massimo Ginali, also faces charges. Uh, we're going to break down the accusations against them in a moment. But first, we want to tell you about the man at the center of the scandal, William Rick Singer. Singer is accused of masterminding the scheme to get kids into these schools, including Stanford, Yale, and Georgetown. He's a Newport Beach resident and bills himself as an admissions consultant. Authorities say he will plead guilty to these charges, including racketeering and conspiracy later today. Singer is accused of taking money to help students cheat by having stand-ins take the ACT or the SATs, uh, arranging proctors to correct wrong answers, and even creating fake athletic profiles to get them admitted through the sports programs. The FBI says the scheme robbed deserving students of a chance to get a top-level education. We believe everyone charged here today had a role in fostering a culture of corruption and greed that created an uneven playing field for students trying to get into these schools the right way through hard work, good grades, and community service. Make no mistake, this is not a case where parents were acting in the best interests of their children. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense, to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. All right, and we're learning a lot of details about the accusations against Felicity Huffman. Court papers show she and her husband made a $15,000 donation, allegedly to help her older daughter cheat on the SAT. The documents show they had her take the test at a location in West Hollywood where she could have extra time. A cooperating witness says the person who gave her the test either corrected her answers or actively helped her take the exam. She ended up with a score of 1420. Also, Huffman allegedly discussed repeating the same scheme for her younger daughter in a phone call. Look at this transcript. She and a witness talked about making sure that her SAT tutor wouldn't notice a dramatic score improvement. She said, quote, but I just didn't know if it'd be odd for the tutor if we go, oh, she did this in, in March 9th, but she did so much better in May. I don't know if that'd be like if the tutor would be like, wow. And we should point out, authorities say Huffman did not go through with this plan for the younger daughter. As for actress Lori Laughlin, she and her husband, Massimo Ginali, are accused of paying $500,000 in bribes to have their children be recruited to the USC crew team, even though they weren't even active in the sport. The documents show they even provided photos of their daughters on rowing machines. And the FBI says, in other instances, students' faces were photoshopped onto athletes' bodies, and all 33 parents were arrested, and they include CEOs, high-profile investors. Now, none of their children have been charged, because you think, well, what about all the students in all of this? We expect Huffman and nearly a dozen other people arrested to appear in a downtown L.A. federal courtroom this afternoon. We're standing by to see the impact to those students. Back to you guys. All right, certainly very bizarre. Jasmine, thanks. USC and UCLA are both dealing with the fallout from this indictment, with coaches charged at both schools. UCLA head mid soccer coach Jorge Lucido was named in today's criminal case. The school says he has been put on leave effective immediately and will have no involvement with the team. UCLA just released a statement which says in part, the conduct alleged is deeply disturbing and in contrast with the expectations we have of our coaches to lead their teams with honesty and integrity. And this morning there is shock on the campus of USC where four coaches are named in this indictment. CBS 2's Leslie Marine continues our live team coverage with more Leslie. 
You know, USC, as we all know, has some of the top athletes and students in the country. But now everyone on campus is learning that some of the coaches here, as well as over at UCLA, were a part of this bribery scandal. Now, these are a list. Uh, this is a list of coaches and administrators across Southern California colleges indicted in this scheme. Current senior USC associate athletic director Donna Heinel, as well as current USC head water polo coach Jovan Vavik. Former USC head women's soccer coach uh, Ali Hosro Shaheen, former USC assistant women's soccer coach Laura Janke, and UCLA head men's soccer co coach. Jorge Salcido. Now, in total, nine coaches from several universities across the country are accused of taking bribes to make it seem like students were being considered as athletic recruits, even when the student had never played the sport. U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling says the scheme went as far as making fake athletic profiles and staging photos of students playing the sport. Now, we spoke to some current student athletes, some guys on the swim team, who say, well, it is unfair, it is not surprising to hear these accusations. I guess my talents bribed my way in a little bit, um, but I definitely didn't pay any extra, and I definitely, you know, I've been thinking about this since middle school or younger, trying to work my way to get in here. I guess I'm just not surprised, if that makes sense. Kind of some, like, if, if you have the power to get into somewhere you want to be and you don't have to work as hard as others, like, that's kind of happened in a lot of cases. Well, USC did release a statement saying basically they are the victim in this. In part, in that statement, they said, we understand that the government believes that illegal activity was carried out by individuals who went to great lengths to conceal their actions from the university. USC is conducting an internal investigation and will take employment actions um, as appropriate. As for what will happen with the students, the U.S. attorney that spoke today did say it will be up to the school to decide what will happen with current students right now. No students are facing charges, but they are looking into if any will be in the future. That's the latest from USC. Leslie Medin, back to you guys in studio. Thank you, Leslie.